In last week's video, we updated you on our mini adventures the past month. You're beautiful. And took you to the Netherlands where we toured the lovely canals of Heethorn. While half of our tour was serene and lovely, this is uh, actually uh, going to be trickier than it looks. The other part of the trip was crazy and adventurous. Adventure finds us. I don't know how it happens. We were even rewarded with a wild swan sighting that took our breath away. Now we're heading to Greece and we're starting with the largest and most populous island of Crete. This week we're going to head to a beautiful beach that has pink sand. Then we're going to head to a Cretan restaurant up in the mountains that has no electricity. So before we get started, make sure you hit subscribe, smash that like button, and come along with us. It's going to be a good one. We're John and Bev, and we are the Retirement Travelers. We started off learning some history from our Airbnb host about the farmhouse we were staying in. Metoshi Villas is a complex of two villas, which actually is part of the whole village which used to be one complex. It's, it's a Cretan version of United States farm where you have the main residence and you have the supporting buildings and you have a barn and you have a mill and you have this and that, okay? It's the same thing was Metohi in the old 300 years ago in Crete. Metohi is actually a Turkish word. It meant a place where I stay and I am self-supported and I have all, everything that I need uh, secluded in that place. <laughs> it's a gun hole. It used to have eight gun holes. First shoot and then ask. The next day we drove two hours from Hanya to see the pink sands of Elephanisi Beach. Got a real good plan, gonna make a little money. Wanna see the world snowy, cloudy, rainy Sunday. I wanna take a car, boat or a train from here to Timbuktu. If I wanna see Paris or Spain, tell you what I gotta do. I need a little, little money. Got some big plans, honey. I need a little bit of money. So come and get your little money. Okay, we've made a stop and we're gonna go check out the view. Holy cow, this is a gorge. And there's no guardrail here, so be careful. How beautiful is that? That's unreal. Wow, look at that mountainside. I imagine they have mountain goats here. Do you wanna go check out those caves over there? It shouldn't be too hard to get over there. That's a long way down. It's so beautiful. Crete is beautiful. It is very beautiful, but I didn't know oh, this was look here. Look at the goats. Where? On the, on the cliff over there. There's a whole pack of them. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, I see them. I had no idea Crete was this rugged. And we're not even into the big mountains here. There, there's the White Mountains are all snow full of snow right now. That was a treat. That was a little bit of a surprise. I was not expecting a gorge that dramatic. That was incredible. I love that. Wow. Okay, back on the road. Cause I need a little bit of money. Turn left to stay on Eparchiakiotos Kalaudianon Chrysos Kalidisis. That's the road I thought we were supposed to stay on. <laughs> Could you say that for me, Bev? Continue on Eparchiakiotos Kalaudianon Chrysos Kalidisis for six miles. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, we'll do <laughs> Lots of goats. Okay, we found a parking spot. We don't know if it's legal, but it kind of looks like I it. I think it is. Wow, look at that. <laughs> look at the PC and these. We may be taking our shoes off, honey. This is beautiful. How beautiful it's gorgeous. is this? I like this place. People 
from Crete. They call themselves Cretan. They're not there. I think it's Crete first and Greece second. I think so too. <laughs> uh, they love their island and I can see why. Okay, are you ready to head back? Yeah, let's head back. This was a fun stop. We still have a lot on the agenda. Yes, we do. Let's go. This, no one told us it looked like this. This place is incredible. I thought that we were in Switzerland. <laughs> Vineyards. Olive trees. Snow-capped mountains. The inner part of Crete is incredible. All we know about this place is that it is special. And they do not use electricity. And that it's special. This is very okay. cool. It's a wood-fired stoves outside. It smells good and I'm starving. <laughs> I am too. Let's go get a table. We look all around here. We're up in the mountains in the middle of Crete, near the White <laughs> Mountains. You can't see them here, but we have snow-capped mountains just over these hills. Today, it feels like we're living our dream. This is it? living the dream. This is, uh, Crete has been amazing. This is perfect. This is so, it this smells is a, so good. This is a very unique restaurant. We're excited. Oh, thank you. Happy boy. <laughs> Happy boy. <laughs> what is your name? Is it my name's Dave. Yeah, okay, you're the owner? Yes. Oh, you like vegetarian, you like vegan, you like meat? Meat. We like everything. You just okay. treat us everything. right. Asparagus? Asparagus, yes. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yes, we love everything. Yeah. You like a small glass of wine? Oh, you like a sure. glass yeah. wine? Whatever wine. you recommend. Whatever you recommend. <laughs> you're the boss. Good luck. <laughs> It's just exciting, you know? I know. I mean, we've eaten at some great restaurants over the years, and I'm really excited to see what this is like. This just authentic Cretan food. You taste it first? I want a toast. Cheers to Dunia Tavra. It's a local wine. I love this place. <laughs> I do love this place. This is one of my favorite places on our trip so far, right here, right now. Wow. How gorgeous is that? Looks like it has potatoes, probably feta cheese, pomegranate, red peppers, balsamic vinegar, some maybe, is this cabbage or? I think so, I think it's a cabbage. Wow, that is a beautiful salad. Mm. Delish. Oh my gosh, you guys, so good. Delicious salad, no tomatoes. <laughs> Score. <laughs> It's no fresh, very, very fresh. Not fresh, very fresh. One here, boy goat. Goat, boy goat. One here, very people like the thing. Slow cooked, everything here is slow cooked. And meant to be eaten slow. Slow cooked, fast eat. <laughs> I just said made, eat I just slow. made that up. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. That's good. Look, it's cooked with sage, mm -hmm. fresh sage. And olive oil. And olive oil. I'm seeing a theme here. There was olive oil on the salad, olive oil on the bread, olive oil Hello. on the asparagus, and olive oil on the meat. They do grow olives here, you know. <laughs> I think you eat it with your fingers. Mm -hmm. Dig in, babe. Good. Oh, very good, yeah. Very, very good. Very much, very good photograph. Yeah. After, after one photo together. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. No, yes. Sure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he wants our picture. But we've already talked about taking his. Okay, next on the menu. Oh. Good luck. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. good? It's good. <laughs> very good. Wow. That's exceeded expectations. It's very, very smoky mm -hmm. and very just tasty. Mm -hmm. Just so good. Guess what? It has olive oil on it. <laughs> olive oil. Some more goat and potatoes. Oh my. That's the best job. Yeah. No, it is. He had named Chondros, milk mm. and wheat cookie. Mm. And, and fresh milk from lamb. Oh, okay? so good. And full now. Very good, mm. yes. A day at the beach. Dinner in the mountains. <sighs> not, not bad. 10 out of 10. 
10 out of 10. Yeah. You're in Crete, you got to come here. When somebody comes and they don't have a table outside, they just bring it out. We'll just walk out with tables. Yes, so good. Thank Very you. Good. Yeah, it was delicious. Thank you, Cher. Thank you, baby. Delicious. We told him we were finished. <laughs> we had to. <laughs> We did. had to stop. After what, six courses, I think we were done. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> Give it a taste. Okay. Mm. Excellent tapioca. Like giant tapioca. Monster tapioca. I can't tell if it's tapioca or rice. I can't really tell. Rice pudding. Rice pudding? Uh-huh. It's rice. Are you, are you saying there's no such thing as giant tapioca? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Am I allowed to lick on camera? <laughs> Just do uh, 50, 5, mm -hmm. 55. 55? 55. 55. Sure. <laughs> or 50. <laughs> no. Give her 55. They even sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was an experience that yes. I will never forget. And all of that food cost 37 euros. euros. I know, it's unbelievable. <laughs> he could charge $200 well, in a city. Of, one of the best dining experiences I've ever had right there. One of the best. Be sure to hit subscribe and follow along on our retirement journey around the world.